Dance is an art form that requires discipline, motivation, and a great deal of commitment. But what does it really take to make it as a dancer? Inside Lehman's Anne Andre gives us a backstage pass. While dancers come in all shapes and sizes, they all bring unique talents to the stage. Their inspiration comes from many places, as in this contemporary dance performance, which was inspired by the tragedy of the earthquake that struck Haiti. If Mother Nature just decides to shrug her shoulders, mountains fall. So I think that that level of resilience of being able to return to one's former glory, or at least try to, was what inspired the piece. This dance was demanding, especially since some of these performers were exploring this type of dance for the first time. To make it as a successful dancer, you have to have diversified skills. Dancers must stay up to date with new styles and moves. Michael Manswell teaches dance at Lehman College, and he is also the artistic director of the Brooklyn-based Something Positive Performing Arts Organization. He gets results by establishing a professional relationship with his students and helping them find their talents. I think the definition of a dancer is to excel in different types of genres as well as giving an expression to the audience and conveying a powerful message. I dance not only when I'm on stage but just getting out the bed sometimes just to stretch um, because it's something that is consistently with me. Before a dancer can expect to perform in front of an audience, there is choreography. Developing routines and knowing how to quickly pick up and accurately retain what is learned are very important factors in making it as a dancer. Lehman College professor Amy Larimer brought it all to the stage, directing a modern dance performance with work from both Michael Manswell and guest choreographer Nicholas Leichter. A professional dancer herself, she enjoys establishing relationships between dance students and people who are already out there in the professional world, while also introducing the two choreographers to up and coming talent. There's a fusion of dance techniques there, so uh, it's kind of a mix, which I really enjoy, and that's definitely a direction that the dance world is going in uh, towards fusing a lot of different dance styles. There's a lot of, uh, of, of working with the body. There's, there's uh, much interest right now in alignment work and body work, in physical therapy, and all of that is, is part of what I would call like the dance stew as well. Although the process of becoming a dancer and performer can be long and rigorous, it's the rewards that Journey brings that make it all worthwhile. To me, a bit, to be a dancer means freeing myself, freedom. That's like the only freedom I think possible in the world when you follow what you love, your passion. Dance is a way of expressing myself and sharing the way how I see the world with the people who watch my dance. Finding work after being a dance student will take time and effort, but Professor Larimer expects these young performers will be able to do well through their hard work and commitment. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of training in uh, dance. There's a famous quote by Martha Graham who says it takes 10 years to be a dancer, and I think that it takes at least that long. The commitment can be there, the drive can be there, the technique can be there. The question is, are the opportunities there? Backstage, we had an insider's look at the many aspects that make up dance. It is the job of the dancer to stay out there, stay committed, stay focused, don't give up. You have to have a little diva in you to really be able to go out there and sell it and, and own it. It is right now, it's a combination of dance and theater. Um, it's uh, very exciting. We're trying to weave together some of these different um, disciplines into one major so that when the dancers come out of here they really have a background in, in both disciplines and are good performers as well as good dance technicians. Keeping an open mind to learning new things and a watchful eye on what's happening in the professional world are the keys to success. Anne Andre, Inside Leading.